Hi, my name is Rachel Smythe and I'm the creator of Lore Olympus. Lore Olympus is a modern day deconstruction of the Greek myth of Hades and Persephone. So basically they're super attracted to one another but they have a lot of obstacles. I think it's Tales of the Unusual and they did the Beauty Water short story which I came across on Tumblr and I was like this is incredible and I was like I also would like to make a comic because for a very long time I'd been like the thick end of a decade I've been looking at different ways to like self-publish and seeing Webtoon I was like great it's got a built-in audience which is super handy it's got really high foot traffic. I had another title before Laura Olympus which was like my trial one and I didn't know how to do it properly so I failed with my approach a bit with that one because I would like upload a page that was drawn to like your standard A4 comic page and I would do one and it would be four frames and then I'd leave that as the chapter update and then I would add on with another page like once a week but in the same chapter so no one would know that I was updating. It just goes to show like you should really do some like trial and error and like be okay with making those mistakes. It's super useful. I was working as a graphic designer. What really drove me to make comics in the first place is I really wanted to be a director, but like being a woman in my 30s based in New Zealand who had like trained to be a graphic designer is kind of unrealistic to retrain to be a director. But when you're making a comic, it's kind of like being a director in a lot of ways. Like you pick everything that goes in it and the flow of it and what everyone's wearing and decide how everything looks. Generally I'll work from like nine or 10 o'clock until the evening probably. When it reaches around nine o'clock, I get pretty like lax and I kind of like watch a lot of YouTube as well as <laughs> working on my comic and it's kind of an easier time. And then I just go to bed. So it's just generally integrated to every single day like that. Probably from episode one to, I believe it's 30 were done by me. And then after that, I was like, I need to start looking at getting people to help me, obviously, if I want to like increase the quality of the comic and also quality of life for me, which is very important. But at this stage, um, I've got a really good team to help me do my flats and inking. And probably in a little while, I'll revert to w working on my own for a little bit. But in the future, when I have uh, events and things or life happening to me, I know that I can have a team to like help me out when I need. Generally how I go about it is I will, when I'm doing research and I'll like go through all the myths and I'll look at all the characters and I'll basically like take their personalities and deconstruct them a little bit and then recontextualize them in like a modern day setting. So obviously some behaviors and traits like definitely work in the, the classical sense, but they don't make any sense in a modern setting. So you need to look at an approach and a way to get them to fit in that would make sense to us. Oh gosh, I reckon three. Either three or a really long season one and a really long season two. I think it's really important to create boundaries for yourself. Because in the beginning, you kind of want, like, obviously, like, uh, my popularity has happened very quickly. Like, it's, it's not, I don't think it's particularly normal. And so it was like a bit of a shock to me. So you need to develop coping mechanisms as you go and sort of learn what you're okay with. But like, I don't have any shame in admitting that I'm quite sensitive. So if I read like a bad comment that like gets under my skin, it will stick with me for like three days. And I'm like, it's not very advantageous for me. So I'm like, try and like create, I try to create safe spaces for myself. Christian Bale is Hades or Mads Mikkelsen. I mainly can only think of the male characters because I'm really thirsty. I really want John Mulaney to play Hermes. That's my main thing. Yeah, this is what I know off the top of my head. 
Thanks, Mum and Dad, for letting me be weird <laughs> all the time. Uh, thank you to Webtoon and all the staff. I know you guys work really, really hard all the time. Uh, and your dedication is amazing. Um, thanks to Webtoon in general for making an app that creates like paid opportunities for creative work. That's amazing. Uh, and lastly, thank you to all my fans who support me in an array of different ways from ranging from just like liking the chapter or just reading it to like writing fan fiction, doing a cosplay, making a fan art. That's spectacular. Really good. <laughs>